Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Habedrachen ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helber, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alperon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten. Ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. Okay, user registration is done. Now for a name. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Dot Hack Infection, the first of the four games in the Dot Hack original Dot Hack series. Now we have to input a username, and it doesn't really matter what we enter because it's not used in the game at all. So let's name us Naka. And of course I will keep the default character name. And we have now created a, co a new character in the online game The World where our good friend Yasuhiko is waiting for us. And we have new mail! This here is our desktop. I'll go into more detail on this later. But from this we can access the game, we can get our email, we can do a lot of other odd things, so let's check our email. We have CC Corp. There's a new version of the world. I don't know what that one is. Thank you for registering. Yasuhiko is saying thank you for... No, he's not saying thank you. He's asking for registered yet, and he wants us to get our sorry butts online. Yasuhiko is our real-life friend, who we never actually see in real life. You never see anybody in this game outside of the game. So we want to go online to meet with our friend. And on this page, we can go to the message board, where there's a whole lot of interesting and or useful information. I'll get to this later, though. The vast majority of this is easily skippable and unimportant. So let's go in where our friend is waiting for us, and log on to the online game. Hey, you made it. Hi, Orca. Uh... Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Wow! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. You'd be surprised just how well he's known here if you don't know much about Dot Hack. He's one of two legendary characters known as the Descendants of Fianna. What? No, you look great. Anyway, take this. Now we have Orca's member address. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. It says flash mail, but you will never send a message to anyone that you write yourself. You'll occasionally get a message from someone else, but by and large it's used so you can... Our member addresses are used so you can invite people to your party. With flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the triangle button to open the menu. menu. In the menu, select party. The only option, not grayed out. Next, select Add. Names of players who gave you their member addresses will be listed here. Choose a player you want to invite to your party, 
and send a flash mail. And Orca's level 50, so he's got some poop behind him. Since you just started, you probably only have my member address. Now, press the X button twice to send a flash mail to me. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. I do want to say the very beginning of this is going to be ripe with tutorials and explanations, and it's going to take up probably a video or two on its own, and there's not much I could do to skip it. See? My name appears under your screen. That means I'm in your party. By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. It'll get better in a while, trust me. Oh, and you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world. We're actually in what's referred to as a root town right now. The towns are also referred to by their servers, which this is Delta Server. People do have a life, you know. We're not online 24-7. In other words, you can't always count on the same members to form a party. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Generally, you can usually contact wh whoever you need whenever you need them. There's not that many restrictions. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. I learned that the hard way. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. This is the Chaos Gate, a sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. There's a Chaos Gate in every town. It lets you go from town to town. Currently, we can only go to the one town, though, so it's kind, that's kind of unimportant. But it also takes you to the fields. Now, press the X button. In the world, each play zone is called an area, determined by a combination of three keywords. Select New Keyword. This is the keyword screen. At the top is the entry plate. Now you get a lot of keywords that you can use to put in here and come go to randomly generated fields and dungeons. It's all kind of nifty and lets you go just about anywhere. Now we already have a number of pre-existing keywords we can use, but he's going to force us to go to a specific area. You put the three selected keywords one by one for each part, A, B, and C left of the entry plate is all the keywords you have. You can collect more of them by reading your emails, the board, and from other players. Now, let's enter some keywords by starting with part A. Select bursting from the list. Select. Good. Next for part B, select passed over. For the last one in part C, select aqua field. Now you're done specifying the area. Okay, he's going to a go into a whole big explanation on what all the crap on the right is, and I'll tell you right now, you don't need to know anything about what the crap on the right is. It comes in to help a little bit later on, but all in all, you really don't need to know. As long as you look on the left and see Battle Level, Level 1, and Element Wood, that's all you need to know. Oh, one more thing. You see the symbol on the left next to the keyword? The little delta sign. That's the server symbol. It indicates which server you are currently logged on to. Because we're trying to access this one from Delta Server, that's town we're currently in. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the Delta Server. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. This is what I said you really don't need to know. For example, Check the field type. See the jewel on the right? This means that the field type is being determined by aqua field, the keyword in C. We don't know what kind of field the current keyword will create until we get there. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out the board on your own time. Really, the options are unlimited as to what you can do, but for our purposes, it's all completely unimportant. Alright, let's get going to the Delta Bursting Pastover Aqua Field. 
Now once we eventually get another town we can go to, we can use these same keywords there, but it'll be from a different town. So you'll see Theta bursting past over Aquafield, which will be a different... it'll be a different zone altogether. Select Warp. And away we go! It'll still be 20 minutes before we get to attack anything. Sadly.